Hi guys, uh, I don't know if you have watched my uh, previous video about this uh, upgrade I did on this section of the layout. So yesterday I was running a couple of trains and what I noticed, a couple of locomotives when they got to this point here, to this uh, switch here, they shorted out they didn't stop but they shorted the track very short like a half a second or then even this one here it's an atter and it uh, stopped and i noticed the light bulb came on uh, that i have installed for protection it showed there is a short so what I found out it's this frog this point here it shorts out uh, I knew about this switch here I even I don't know if you can see I filed those two tracks a little bit in between so the gap gets bigger so let me <coughs> show you the difference between this switch here you can see the point uh, tracks here they end right before the frog but this one it kind of continues into the frog so they come in longer they get closer together so that's where they short so uh, what I have to do change that switch and put this one let me show you what happens I'm gonna bring in this locomotive here with very slow speed So it shorted the light. Let me show you. See? For a very short second or half a second, uh, Okay, I got to reverse it. There you go. So it's shorted this time, big time. It stopped. So you see what happens. So uh, I don't know why this Atlas tracks and the switches are like that. Uh, I knew it but I thought maybe it will work because I had filed it but obviously it doesn't work so I gotta change it okay guys um, I took the bad one out I don't know if you can see I have you can see I filed the insides so they separate more but it still doesn't work uh, this one it's much better so what I do usually when uh, I install tracks I take enough ties out here so I can slide the joiner back like that so it can I can separate the tracks from each other so it makes it pretty quick uh, exchange so if I take these two out this whole switch comes out and I just slide it out and put it back in and then put this two slide these two joiners back in and that's it it uh, goes pretty quickly so let me so that's it and then put this here okay I gotta lift it with the other hand and shove it under so the other thing is left to connect the track powers here and here, solder and back on. 
and put the ballast and then test it all right it's done I, I just have to do the ballasting and I'm gonna test it now I haven't tested it uh, here we go it's speed one So when it goes to the frog, we'll see. Okay, no problem. Okay, that's it. Works. All right. Well, I'm glad it wasn't a big deal. So, good thing I had bunch of uh, this is the curve switch I built I didn't use I'm glad I had a bunch of those uh, switches here so I could use them all right guys uh, that's it and uh, hopefully there won't be any more problems and I can do the dwarfs actually I'm working on the yard right now and as soon as the yard is done I'm gonna uh, post the video so you guys can watch it. I parked some locomotives and stuff here so for now until I move them around. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Till the next video.